I guess the primary reason why I chose to do social work was so that I could help other people that was in my position. When um, I was a child and I was hoping someone would come and help me, but unfortunately I didn't get that help. And yeah, and I, vol I started volunteering at Headspace because I would like to help other young people who are struggling. And if that means it's going into schools and talking about it, and one person is going to seek help from that, that's enough for me because that one person could have gone a separate path, a very different path. And I felt like I was one of those children who could have gone a completely different path in my life if I didn't have the resilience to move on. Uh, um, my name is Zach, uh, I'm 17 years old and um, I play music, I guess, yeah. Um, I think the stigma around mental health in terms of um, youth and just uh, the younger generation is that I think uh, nowadays it's seen as some as like a weakness. Like people, uh, if you show any signs of like uh, sadness or or crying, it's like it's sort of like a weakness. So no one wants to speak out because they want to think that they're cool and and man up and like you know like tough and things. Even though it's something that we all suffer from, and I think we should all generalize it and normalize it because it's. It's tough, it's really tough. I think stigma is, it's a huge barrier. To, um, it, it just, it stops people in their tracks when they genuinely need help. A lot of people, when they are um, experiencing difficult situations, I feel like the first step, and one of the most difficult steps is just acknowledging that you're not in a good space. And then that stigma makes that already it's a difficult step and makes it 10 times harder, 100 times harder. Um, especially when you feel like um, the people around you, like the people in your household, won't be able to be receptive of it. Um, how could you be receptive of it yourself if the people around you already are 100% against it? Well, just yesterday I was hearing about a friend who said he wasn't able to talk to his brother because being a male and being you know being brought up in an area in a culture and an environment where you couldn't really express your feelings you couldn't you know talk about things it, it just became sort of this macho I guess environment where he just couldn't express himself so then it's suppressed and that sort of stigma can eventually lead to even worse mental health issues because you're not addressing it and that's why early intervention for mental health is so important because you're seeking help right away and you can cope with it better. I think uh, every time I suffer from like um, anything that is sort of bothering me, struggling me, making me feel sad, uh, I would uh, take, find what I love and then use that to take my mind off things. So maybe like play music or or play soccer because I know a lot of physical activity can get your mind off things and make you feel uh, more happy and uh, eating as well is good but I, I don't really eat a lot I, I like to take care of my body <laughs> so <laughs> there's that um, but yeah I like to um, do that play video games too I know like that's like a escape for a lot of kids nowadays from like school and reality and things like that it's an escape yeah my first step of advice is just acknowledging where you're at and I feel like that's usually the hardest step because sometimes um, it might be unconscious or you might not even realise you're doing it but sometimes it's just really difficult to understand and, like, and fully acknowledge that you know, you're not feeling your best, you're not at your usual and there is something bigger going on. Uh, everything is temporary so whatever you're going through at the moment it may feel like it's never going to end, it's never going to um, you know, it's always going to be like this and like I said, think about what can you control in that situation? What can't you control in that situation? What can you do? Flip it so that it's to your advantage. So for example, if you haven't had a really great upbringing, you've got parents that separated, then think about that as an experience where you can share with others. So you could even go out and share that experience with other people so that they don't feel alone and use it to your advantage and own it because that's a story in your life but it doesn't have to be a negative one.
I think if people are struggling from mental health and anybody who is my age or even above who's suffering from mental health issues or, or anxiety or depression, it is a must to seek help because everybody as human nature loves to help and, and, and care for each other and that's just how we are and I think that is so important for, to get other people to help you through any struggles and life problems that you have. And I think that's so important that and nowadays we are realizing that and acknowledging that. So I think there should be no reason to hold back and tell people your problems. Because I know that everybody, including myself, are going to help you through anything.